Hello from here. And today I want to talk about a comment I received on my YouTube that I deleted the comment immediately. It said, this is not your country. So first of all, let's talk about what is my country. My ancestors were forced to leave Ukraine 150 years ago or so because of uh, pogroms where they were told it's not their country. My mother had to flee Slovakia, Czechoslovakia at the time, where she was told it's not your country. I'll quote Amos Oz, the famous Israeli writer, one of my favorite writers. He said, you know, they told the Jews, go to Palestine, go to Palestine. And then they told the, ki the Jews, get out of Palestine. So you can be a liberal, left-wing, polit politically left-wing person and still believe in Zionism. It's possible, yes. Um, do I believe that I have to share this crumb of land with one billion Muslims? No, I do not. Do I believe that people who pray to Mecca and Medina have a right to our historical capital, Jerusalem? No, I do not. Do I believe the people from Australia, from US, who took over other people's land have a right to tell me this is not my country? No, I do not. So the UN declared that Israel has the right to exist, and yet we don't have a right to defend ourselves, which is a contradiction in term and anti-Semitism by definition. So if you leave a comment, make sure that you don't check your own place, where it comes from, if indeed it is your country. And as for Palestinians, they are all over the Middle East. Why do they have to come to this country in particular? Why do they have to take over the only Jewish um, holy place, Jerusalem? They pray to Mecca and Medina. I've seen Muslims pray in the direction of Mecca and Medina. Why do they have to take over our country as well? The answer is greed. People are pretty greedy. It's not enough that they have the entire Middle East. It's not enough that they have one billion people strong. They have to destroy the 14 million Jews still living in this world, which I think is pretty, pretty corrupt. And it's about time we call, we call this game out and yeah. Another thing I want to talk about is McDonald's. I see that McDonald's has launched a campaign for the Mondial. You know McDonald's? See this? This is my breakfast. McDonald's, stop abusing animals. We should all ban McDonald's. We should all ban meat, dead bodies, because of our health and because of our mental health and because of the need to have compassion. Most of the cultures of the world, all of them except the Indians, eat dead bodies. It's time that we ban McDonald's. And as for the Mundial, I don't understand how Qatar, a country that has so much human rights abuse, women abuse, is hosting the international soccer games, which I think is absurd. There are a lot of soccer players that are also LGBT, by the way. So I wonder how they're willing to play in this country where so many rules are against LGBT, against women, so it's really weird how that happened, but the answer is money. Money takes over everything. And it's funny how Jews are accused of being greedy when the people that accuse them are in fact greedy. It's funny that I'm accused of taking over a country. Where the hell, where do I come from? I come from this place. I don't come from Ukraine. I don't come from Czechoslovakia. It was pretty clear during World War II. They pretty much clarified to the Jews where they come from. They come from a country, this country. So they told us to leave their countries and come here. And then they tell us to leave this country and go where? To the sea? Anyway, peace, I love from Shiva here, right? And stop telling me what my country is and what is not my country. Just take care of your own place. Take care of your own values and check out whether your values are in fact so holy and so wonderful. Whether you treat women well, whether you treat animals well, whether you treat other people well and whether your country is indeed your country before you accuse other people. Take a look at yourself. There is this uh, metaphor, I will look. Before you accuse somebody else, this is the accusing, remember that all these fingers are pointed at you. Peace, light and love. Have a wonderful day. I'm enjoying my winter here. Right? We're having a pretty good winter.